What's happening YouTube? We're uh, out here laying on the ground doing some macro photography today. So uh, that's what we're going to talk about. And I hear there's some little blue flowers. Just got me a little ladybug that was down here. <laughs> Having a lot of fun out here. So let's get at it. All right, I'm back at the truck. Had a lot of fun out there. Uh, at least little tiny blue flowers I was shooting. Caught a couple of ladybugs, a hoverfly, a couple of uh, bees. So not all a bad day for macro. It was a little windy, so I had to fight with that. Now, uh, talk about the D7100, the camera I was shooting out there. It's uh, an older camera from Nikon. It's back about 2012, 2013, somewhere in that range. But it's still a very good camera for today, especially shooting macro. Uh, it's got a 24 megapixel sensor, APS-C. That means it's got a tight pixel pitch, which really helps out when you're shooting down to small stuff. Also, it being a crop sensor, that 150 millimeter lens starts acting like a 225 millimeter lens. So it acts like it gives you a little extra length to the lens where it's cropping in on it. Uh, it's got a couple other neat fi uh, features. One in particular I like, it's got 100% coverage on the viewfinder, which means what you see through the viewfinder is your composition. Also, 100% is usually are brighter than the smaller ones, like the 0.74s and 0.94s on the D3300, 3400, and the D5355 and 5600s. Uh, so you've got a better viewfinder. Now, if you're running autofocus, it's got a great autofocus system. Uh, doing macro, you don't need no stinking autofocus. So, you know, that's a good thing, too. If you need the autofocus, it's there. Really good. And uh, it's got a lot of capability. It's great dynamic range from ISO 100 to ISO 6400. Uh, the ISO 100 is, at ISO 100, it's got like a 13-stop dynamic range. That's great because you can really recover the shadows, which is, it's really good at, really good at that. Uh, I usually try to shoot for shadow data, so I shoot to the right on the histogram, or sorry, to the left, I mean. That way, I'm shooting to the dark a little bit and protecting the, high, uh, the highlights because it'll blow the highlights out like most DSLRs. Uh, with shooting macro... You're not really going to blow the highlights out ever. you got to be a real bonehead to do that. Uh, now, the big thing with the, the, the 7100 is it can be gotten cheap for a intermediate to pro-level body with pretty decent features still. You can find them for three or $400. So you could build you a really sweet macro setup, 150 millimeter Sigma, or 180 millimeter Tamron, or 100 millimeter Takina macro lenses, and or the 105 millimeter Nikon, and a D7100, the cheap Sunpak DF4000 U flash. You could have all this for anywhere from six to eight hundred bucks. So that's not bad for that level of performance. It's a it's a pro capable camera. I've shot weddings with it. Uh, it's got dual card slots. It's got a lot of pro features. It's got weather sealing. That's the other big thing to talk about. It's a weather sealed camera. So if you get caught out in the rain and you've got a weather sealed lens on it, your camera will probably survive. Whereas you take a the 5000 series or the 3000 series camera out in the rain. Sorry, you're buying a new camera. So, good performance, cheap camera. That's what I'm here for. I want to save y'all money. I want you to have fun. Spend your money on lenses, spend your money on other things besides camera bodies because, you know, glass is what really makes a difference. 
but you still need something on the end of that glass to make the image. So get out, get your camera gear out, get you a camera, go out and have fun. Crawl around the dirt, shoot something. If you don't want to shoot something in the dirt, go find what you like to shoot, whether it's street, landscape, macro, whatever, and enjoy. And of course, be nice to everybody out there. You have a wonderful day.